Hey, what is going on everyone? It's Swiftly Sports here bringing you uh, my first ever top 10 videos and we are going to be doing the top 10 players in the Euros. This will consist of a few young players and um, I think one or two centre backs and a lot of top top um, players that did actually drag their team maybe to the quarterfinals, the finals and um, I don't know even the semi-finals or, um, or a round of 16 and they definitely do deserve to get into this team so without further ado we're going to get straight into it and hope um, hopefully you guys do enjoy and if you if you do enjoy please smash that like button it will be very very appreciated and if you're new around here please like and subscribe and um, so you can reach the target that I would like and um, to get uh, but other than that, let's get straight into the video. At 10, we got Joshua Kimmich. Now, this guy, for by and um, Bayern Munich, played a lot of centre mid and right back for um, Germany. He mainly played right back, I, I believe, actually, other than Tony Cruz and Mitchell Ozil. This guy created the most goals and, um, well, created the most chances anyway in the Euro and definitely does deserve. To be this um, this team in the top 10 anyway, and for a 20 year old is really phenomenal what he has um, accomplished. I think a year ago now he was playing for Red Bull Salzburg in um, Austria. Now he's playing for Bayern Munich and he was a starter. And uh, my um, Pep Guardiola has um, quoted that he loves the guy. He's he's brilliant. He doesn't have any weakness to his um, game, and then um, that works well for him in the future. At number 9 we got Rafael Guerrero, another young player this time at left back, can play left mid or left back, he got a big summer move to um, Borussia Dortmund for about 10 million from FC L'Oreal and I'm surprised that no one actually snatched him up um, before that season because they have compared him to be the Portuguese Ronaldo um, at some point in his career but it seems that he, he, he enjoys playing left back and um, he will stick to that position. Um, Laurent, um, Guerrero was one of the best players in the um, Euro 2016 final against France and he definitely deserves to be in this team. Quick, fast, can cross the ball into the goal, um, in, sorry, into the box and he, as we can see he can take, a, he can take set pieces as well and then he knows how to man mark a defender and he doesn't get beaten easily, easily. So for me, Rafael Guerrero definitely deserves to be ninth on this list. At eight, we got Eden Hazard. And you guys know I am a Chelsea fan and you probably would have thought, oh, because he's a Chelsea fan, I probably would have ranked him higher if I wasn't being, if I was being biased, sorry, at this point. But Hazard did have brilliant games, especially against Hungary, when he absolutely outplayed the Hungary team. Okay, they're hungry, but Hungary did draw G3 against Portugal, um, and um, I believe they, they did beat Austria as well. So Hungary are a good group, a um, good team, sorry. Um, but Hazard dominated the show there, um, uh, scoring one and I think assisting two, setting up Michi Bashiwai. Um, for his first goal in, in the, the Euro 2016 for him in the Ch and he's now playing for Chelsea but Eden Hazard definitely ran the show in most of the games against Ireland in the second half he was brilliant against Hungary like I said he, he was man of the match and he did put in a good shift and um, for me Marcus Wilmot is not a good manager um, he shouldn't have made Hazard captain, but when Hazard was captain, he definitely led by example and definitely for me deserves to be 8 on this li list. Next up on, the, on this list is Pepe. Pepe is a very, very... He knows how to act, that's all I can say. But for me, he's one of the best centre-backs in the world at the moment. And you could definitely see it in the Euro 2016 tournament for Portugal. Led them all the way to the final. And in the final, he was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, his role playing, he didn't um, use it as much as he usually would have done. He focused more on the game. And he put heart and soul into that game. And we saw it at the end when he vom vomited on the pitch. He's just a total package as a centre back. And uh, if there was, a, I think the role playing does cloud, um, cloud how cloud our judgment because he's a very, very good centre back. And I think everyone needs to know that. 
So for me, he deserves to be n number seventh, um, in my top ten list. Um, at six is Mesut Ozil had a brilliant season. He finally stands out for Arsenal. Co comes into the World Cup with a lot of confidence, and he absolutely showed why he's one of the best players in the world for Germany. Brilliant games all around. He didn't disappoint in any single game. When it got hard for him, he he picked those passes like that so quick, so efficient. Most players in the world couldn't pick um such a pass like he can pick, and that you could see that in um, the Euro 2016. Hopefully, you guys did watch a lot of Germany because there was another player that was brilliant as well. There's three players on this list, and and Mitchell also is definitely definitely deserves to be sixth on this list. Fifth, we got Tony Cruz. I believe he um in the first game against Ukraine, every single pass um was um, cur um got to the player that he was gi giving it to except for one. So that means his pass accuracy must have been like 98, 97 percent in one game, and that's brilliant. Not at one out of one. He made about 20, 25, maybe even 30 passes, and he did deservedly get man of the match in that game. Going throughout um, most of the tournament, Tony Cruz has been brilliant, um, created the most chances in the tournament. Definitely deserves um, the status that he is. For me, he's a very underrated um, player. For me, he should be well higher up in the center mid um, position. For me, in the he's in top three midfielders in the world at the moment, and he definitely deserves to be fifth on my list. He could have been higher, but um, we had to make space for these four um, elite players. After we got Ronaldo, Ronaldo uh, at the start couldn't score. The amount of shots that he had was more than half of the um, Euro teams um, that were in the tournament put together. That is a lot of shots, um, to be honest, a lot of shots put together by just Ronaldo alone. But when it came, when it came down to it, when um, their team needed him, he put in a brilliant performance against Hungary, put in a brilliant performance against Wales, and um, on the sidelines, put in a brilliant per performance against France. He take, he's taken um, Portugal to the Euro 2016 and won a trophy with them. That is another argument to say why Ronaldo is better than Messi at the moment because Messi obviously did lose a second year in a row in the Copa America. So if you want to argue international stages, you can't argue that now because Ronaldo has won the Euro 2016 for Portugal and Messi has not. At third, we got Gareth Bale. The Welsh wizard, as everyone knows him, he's turned on my list for a few reasons. His free kicks were a whopper. I know the keepers did terrible, to be honest with them. But when you have a talent like Gareth Bale, a player that can he can trick you, it makes it so hard to know which way he's going. He did that against England and um, Slovakia, and the free kicks um, have enough power, enough, enough pace, and enough dip, and enough everything actually to get past the player, the players here, and the goalkeeper. Sorry, he carried his team to a semi-final, beating Belgium on the way. That is massive, and the way they bet Belgium as well, so convincingly. And Gary Bill is definitely um. Probably the second or first, even biggest reason for them beating um, Belgium in the quarterfinals. Yeah, um, to, uh, he has a lot of things going for him right now. One of the best players in the world, and he keeps and he keeps boasting um, that they they went further than England, and rightly so because they did go further than than England. Actually, they bet Belgium in the. Yeah, no, yeah, they did beat Belgium in court final, sorry. But um, that's why Gary Bill is turned on my li list, because he has everything. And obviously, he's boasting about England going out, and I think everyone is happy about that. No one really likes English pe people. Sorry, sorry, because you guys just you talk too much, basically. But Gary Bill definitely deserves to be turned on this list. Second, we got 
Dimitri Paye. I think that's the way the West Ham players and uh, the West Ham fans say it. And we got Dimitri Paye, and they keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking about him. And I can see why now. I watched him in um in um the French team. What a guy this guy is. Um, 29, 30, even 30 right now. Um, I knew him for a few years now. He he um, at one point in his career. They did say that he was a wasted talent to the French and um, the from the France um, nation and stuff. But when he moved to West Ham for only 12.5 million, that's money well spent, and that's the kind of talent that you should be looking for. What he's done for France at the Euro has been brilliant. Um, with his um, with his left foot thunder cut against um, Romania in the final moment, and and the way he cried showed that a man. A man of his stature, he still cares about everything and definitely deserves to be second on my list. Put in a, a lot of good performances for France, um, and as I said, second on the list, well deserved. First and last but not least, Griezmann. For me, the best players in the Euros. Why? Because he scored six goals. No one has been able to do that since Michel Platini so that is a very very good accomplishment set um, fact number two he has oh my god he's carried France um, so far against Germany scored two goals against Ireland scored two goals against um, Albania scored the winner definitely deserves to be first on this list didn't go all his way in the final against Portugal but for me he deserves every single um, call every single moment that he um, that, that has happened to him in this tournament and the last reason is because of his hotline blink Drake Dan and um, it's absolutely brilliant what he can do um, with that dance and people probably didn't know that it was hotline bling but he has said it, it is the hotline bling dance and he does it really really well to be honest with him so for me that's my top 10 players hope you guys have enjoyed if you have again like and subscribe blah 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 and stuff like that it's been swift sports swifty sports swift nice skills whatever you want to call me and i'll see you guys next time peace uh, top of the roster real deal you can see it in my posture I feel like Leo with the Oscar The price just changed, no sound with a posture And I'm not an imposter My style don't borrow or foster My enemies